ready. Emily go and do the dishes and Harry go and tidy your bedroom right this second. <laughs> Do you sound like Chip and Dale? I do! Good afternoon guys, happy... What was that? Just hands already. Good afternoon guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another weekend weekly vlog. It's Sunday afternoon, so obviously the weekend is half over. Three quarters of the way over. I can't do maths. But just hands and poor maths this morning. I certainly wouldn't make a high school teacher. My name's Diane, for those that you don't know me, and this is UK Disney Vlog. Um, welcome back to the channel, and for those that are new, hi! Um, so yeah, this is another weekly vlog. Um, weekend slash weekly vlog. I'm rambling a lot, because I've only had four hours sleep. I've just finished nights. So yeah, I've only had four hours sleep. And I got up at about half eleven. It's now one o'clock. Um, I need to get some lunch. Um, I think we're probably going to go for a little bit of a walk, Kel surprise. It's David's birthday week this week, so David's going to be the big 4-0 like me, he's going to join me in the 40s, so that's what we're going to be showing you and have exciting things this week. I've actually got a lot of stuff to show you, I've been a bit giddy with um, the post and ordering stuff and I'm not even making sense, I've been giddy with the post. I've been a bit giddy with ordering stuff online. So I'm going to get for a giveaway, which I can't show you, but I'll show you a couple of pieces. Um, and I've also got some amazing birthday presents, even though it was my birthday last week. My colleagues bought me some presents um, and they gave me them this week. And I've got another late gift off my brother, so I want to show you them. I'm going to have my lunch now. I am going to stop waffling and making random jazz hands and poor maths. So I will see you after I've had my lunch and we get out for a walk. Look at me. I'm like doing a sit down vlog. No, I'm not really. I'm just going to do a um, show and tell really of what I've been bought and what I got in the post recently. So I've decided I wanted to do some scrapbooking. I keep buying stuff to do scrapbooking, but I have um, not actually started it because there's not enough hours in the day. So the first thing that I got was from Mouse and More. Now I saw this on... Despicable Three's channel um, and they got sent some stuff so this is what I then got so it's magic trip stickers basically we'll insert pictures sorry David if we can't really see it on the camera so this is like trip stickers like there's a um, great big beautiful tomorrow it's got the castle it's got Tower of Terror uh, Spaceship Earth on it now I really love this I can't wait to use these um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using that. To go along with the scrapbooking theme, I ordered this from Diz and More. Yeah, so I ordered all this stuff from Diz and More, which I'm really, so really excited about. So it's more stickers and things. Um, little up house, how cute. And then obviously some snacks. And then going with sort of more sort of theme-ish ones, we've got um, Foolish Mortals, the Haunted Mansion, and then our favourite one, the Up House one, with the um, adventure book in there as well. So I absolutely love these. I can't wait to use them. The trouble is, I don't want to use them because they're amazing, but I don't want to ruin it. And then also from them, I got these badges. How cute are these pin badges? These need to go on my backpack and David's backpack. I think we might have a bit of a argument about who gets what. I'm not sure who's going to get that one. So that is that. Um, I've ordered some stuff for the giveaway, which is here. I'm not going to show you. I'll show you one thing that we got similar, but it's, this isn't being given away. This is for us. It's down here. So it's from Redbubble and it's from um, David and Ian's collection. So it's a print. I ordered a couple of different things in this range. We ordered the sticker for David's laptop, which is so cute. And then this print. How awesome is that? So it's Kerry and Alien, it's like our favourite things in one. It is amazing. It's so bright and colourful and it's just a fantastic design and we absolutely love it. I can't wait to get this on the wall. So I've ordered a picture frame from Ikea. You heard 
all about the IKEA problems last week, so we're still waiting for that to arrive. Uh, I think it's the 14th, I said. I can't remember. It's just not anytime soon. And now I can't get it back in the packet. So that's everything that I bought, I think. What's this one? No, that's empty. That's everything I've bought. So in the post the other day, I got a fantastic gift from my brother. So it came out like this, really heavy. It's from a company called Mothership. And it's letterbox cocktails. And I am so excited to try these. Harry's really confused of why my brother's sending me alcohol in the post. But how amazing are these? Shows the Sherry Martinez. It's cocktails I've never really heard of as well. Obviously a Cosmopolitan, heard of that. Just need to go get some ice. Some bramble, so that's gin, bramble, lemon, sh some sugar in that one. Um, coffee and donuts. I like the sound of that. I've never really had a coffee paste cocktail before. I don't know why, because I absolutely love iced coffees and obviously coffee, because you know how much I do love that. <laughs> David, this one's called Wee Ginger. What? It's called Wee Ginger. Look, Wee Ginger. It does look a little bit like Wee. I haven't said that. If your Wee was that colour, I think I'd be a bit worried. And then uh, Hawksworth. Negroni. Oh, I could have really um, messed that name up a little bit. <laughs> Gin, bitter orange, hibiscus, lucky rhubarb and custard liqueur. What's lucky about it? So this is all from Mothership, um, mothershipscotland.com. So I'm really excited to try these. Yeah. I don't know if I'll save them for David's birthday. Try one tonight, I don't know. I'll be asleep, I think, if I try one of these. Then I got some lovely gifts from work for my birthday. So one of the girls bought me some lovely smellies. Um, she said it was for you when you, after your runs. So nice bubble bath and smelly with this. So a nice big glass of gin and some smellies after I run. I just thought that was so sweet of her just to think about that. I've only been in this team for seven months and they've really, really thought about me. And it's just so lovely. Then a collective present from all the um, other senior team that I work with. They bought me this. Oh my God, how good is this? It's a brew dog distillery company and it's a cloudy lemon gin. Now this is what I'm most excited about trying. I can't wait. I might even do a taste test later. I don't know to have it with tonic or lemonade. Maybe just tonic and just let the lemon of that do its thing my favourite chocolates and I will be opening these later um, some beautiful flowers and the last thing that they bought me was this Pandora now I was a bit scared about opening this because I'm quite fussy about jewellery but these are amazing how amazing are those so it's Mickey and Minnie earrings these are just perfect. I've been looking at these for so long and I was a bit unsure about them online, but they're just so gorgeous. I'm just, I'm so lucky to have found this new amazing team and I'm really so excited about this. Yeah. So, oh, I've had a great birthday. More presents keep coming. And the gin. The gin's gonna flow later. Yeah, definitely having some of this later. So we've got a lot to do. The shop's shut soon because it's a Sunday as always. The shop's shut. Bloody daylight savings, not daylight savings. What's it called? Just Sunday trading. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this, this vlog's a bit weird. Uh, Sunday trading laws. Um, I'm just gonna go for a walk to the garden center I think because we are doing the garden up. And I just want a few, a few tips or hints or suggestions. I think not suggestions, inspiration <laughs> is what I need. I need some inspiration for this vlog as well. I need some inspiration um, and we'll take you with us. See you in a bit. So we're just having a little walk to our local Dobbies, which is not really that far away, which is quite good. I'm gonna have a quick look around and see what we can see. And then after that, we're probably gonna go and take the walk a little bit further. So this is what we've come looking at. Rocks. 
And stones, how exciting. Quite like them though. Do, could do a hidden Mickey with them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How awesome is all this stuff? Look at that snail. He is very cute, isn't he, Harry? Mm hmm It's a Rudolph with a red nose. We need a pink flamingo in the house, in the garden. Do you reckon? Oh, wow, what a turtle is. Amazing. Yes. But then look at all this fairy stuff. Not that fairy stuff, this fairy stuff. Look. They used to have a teapot like that as a kid. Making the boys go on a bit of a longer walk. Probably about three and a half to four miles. Just stopped at the shop, get some refreshments. Got some mini eggs. I'm sure these packets have got smaller. And so have the eggs. The boys seem to be eating all the mini eggs though. I know. Don't you? Not all of them. Oh, it's getting colder. How long can you suck a mini egg for? How long can I suck a mini egg for? Mm. Um, yeah. I love looking in people's gardens. I am so nosy. It's dead interesting. Like, inspiration. That's what I'm thinking of. Inspirational. Getting cold now. I'm gonna nip, quickly nip to the shop. I'm gonna make David carry a bag of ice home. It's about a two and a half miles walk home. Dave's gonna carry a bag of ice home. My cocktails, Ooh. imagine. So we're back from the shops now. I've suddenly got really tired. Like, um, do you know that jet lag feeling? Obviously you all will know that jet lag feeling when you get off a plane in Florida and you just feel, well, that is really how I feel now. Um, just to try and decide what to have for dinner. We were gonna have a roast dinner. Um, we got back really late. It's actually half four now and we're gonna have a roast dinner and make it a bit earlier. That's not happened because we were so long on our walk. I think we might have a takeaway. Again, David's like cheering in the background. But before we do, we're gonna have a hot chocolate. So we made the, we bought this hot chocolate last week, but we never showed you. So we went to Tim Hortons, tried to find some coffee, couldn't get the coffee, but we got this instead. So some, some Tim Hortons hot chocolate, rich and smooth. But apparently a taste of Canada at home. It's like my infomercial. Um, it's just made with fresh water, with fresh water. <laughs> with freshly boiled water. Um, but we are gonna add it, make it with a bit of milk to make it a bit creamy. So you just put two tablespoons of hot chocolate in there, mix it into a paste with the hot water and then just add the rest of hot water, but we're gonna mix it into a paste and add some milk. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got our three cups going. Do not ask me why I didn't buy four or five of these. I only bought three. It's a complete random amount. So, put some hot water in. And we mix it into a paste, apparently. Right. So that was all delicately kind of mixed together. Does oh, it smell good? It smells nice. Oh, it does. It smells like proper chocolate fudge cake. Chocolate that you pour all over a chocolate fudge cake. Chocolate, chocolate, yeah. Chocolate? Chocolate, chocolate, with extra chocolate. Now we're gonna put some mil <laughs> milk in. M milk. Hopefully tomorrow's will be better. So here is the finished one. That's a good hot chocolate. Considering how rich it looks, it isn't too rich. And with it, milk, it's really, really nice. And you can hear now the stampede of people coming because the kids are coming for the hot chocolates. So it's quite a number of hours later. Um, I'm a terrible vlogger sometimes. Well, not sometimes, all the time. Um, I've had a few gins. The gin was amazing. I had tried it with um, tonic and then lemonade. I'm not quite sure which one I prefer yet. It's quite a bitter. Um, gin obviously with it being lemon <laughs> um, so the lemonade obviously gives it that bit of sweetness but I did quite like the tonic and the bitterness of it um, we've had a takeaway yes we could not be with the cooking I feel so bad just chilling out with a cup of coffee or not a cup of coffee a cup of tea and watching Grey's Anatomy and the kids are getting ready for school it's their first day back at school tomorrow since before Christmas so yeah the, the anticipation around here they're all feeling a bit nervous and tentative about going back to school. I think Harry's looking forward to seeing his new friends, but he's got a different teacher tomorrow because his teacher is currently pregnant, so she's not going to be back. So 
few changes around. He does know his new teacher, so that's a good thing. I'm going to call this um, the end of today's part of the vlog, and I will see you guys again in the morning. Going off to enjoy my chocolate and my tea. Catch you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. Happy morning. Monday. Yep. What are we doing, Tari? Going to school. It's Thursday back at school after national lockdown for the kids. Yep. Oh my god, I got too very nervous. I think you're a little bit excited, aren't you? Yeah. A little bit. To see your friends. To see your friends. Um, as is for usual, guess what's happening? It's raining, it's a school run. There isn't a day that goes by that it doesn't rain for the school bun, it feels like. So yeah, it's Monday morning, we're all a bit bleary-eyed around here, a little bit of an earlier start than normal. Um, all the kids back off to school, school uniforms all sorted. Um, yeah, it's cold, it's wet. It's Monday and it's school day. So come on, Harry, let's get going. Yay, it's raining. It's not too bad. We've come down Harry's secret passageway, haven't we? Yep. We have to come down the little pathway down the side of the railway again. Yeah, Creature of habit. Oh, it's a bit cold this morning. This feels really strange that I've not done it for two and a half months, but then that's what happens during the summer. It's just like having a big summer break, isn't it? Yep. Let's fingers crossed they, keep, they stay in school. Fingers crossed that Emily stays in school longer than a couple of days this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to be so strange around the house today. I'm going to get home. David is by the, in, in the house by himself for the first time in three months. I mean, that's just crazy to think about it like that. So I am all dressed, had a shower, had been for a run. Not in that order, obviously, went for a run. Nice 10k. Um, had a shower, got some makeup on, look a bit better, maybe. Hair's a bit wild. Heading off to the shops, got some things to collect. David is just working. Say hi to the vlog, David. Hello. <laughs> he loves me, really. So, heading off to do some things, and then time to pick these kids up from school. Only three hours, and I need to pick it up. So I better best get cracking and get going with my jobs. So this is currently the situation. Yay, look at these. So I've got to get these in my car and then keep them hidden from David. They just picked up the balloons in the back of the car. Just got to keep them hidden from David now. Yeah, like I said, um, I just have to sneak them through the front door and take them up to Emily's room and say he's not allowed in. Um, doesn't really go in there very much anyway, so won't be too hard. Exciting! Now to go and pick up the cake. So I'm heading to Costco. They ordered a giant Costco cake for the five of us. Um, I might try and divvy up around the family. I think that's my only other option. I'll take it to work. But yeah, Costco cakes are amazing. The frosting is incredible. So let's go head to Costco. Just on the way into Costco, who knew that this was the place to be on a Monday afternoon? because everybody seems to be here. The car park is rammed. There was a massive queue. You'd think it was Saturday. Not what I was expecting at all. I've got a time, but I didn't really need this right now. Anyway, let's get a trolley and get shopping. So the cake isn't ready, so I'm having to have a wander around. And the more I wander around, the more stuff I am putting, putting in my trolley, which is never good, is it? It is so busy in here today. I actually can't believe how busy it is. It's like a weekend and I'm like really shocked at how busy it is. So I picked up a few bits in my trolley. Got some healthy stuff. Watermelon and some bananas. Great pizza. Picked up these tacos. Oh, some Twinkies. Should get some Twinkies and some cinnamon rolls. Nope, you don't need them. <gasps> Biscuit. Cookies, more biscuit. Nobody actually likes these. Stop putting them in. Nobody likes them. So this is David's birthday cake. I ordered this massive thing and then realised they do smaller ones. Flipping marvellous. 
So we did really want that cake. We love it. For 14 99 you can't beat it. The ones in Tesco's, the small ones, that cake's not even that nice. It's very dry, got a massive long shelf life on it because it's not very fresh, are about the same price. It's a bargain. I can't wait to tuck into this on Wednesday night. We're gonna have the shakes after this sugar high. Right, best get this packed in the car. Need to snip to Asda. Uh, it's about one o'clock now. Need some lunch as well and coffee because I'm flagging. Those nights have really taken the toll on me because I couldn't sleep last night. So I have desperate need of some caffeine. <sighs> Keep going, come on, we can do it. I'm relaxed. It's now 20 past two. I need to be back at, at school about 10 to three. So I've got 30 minutes. It's a 20 minute drive. I've not had any lunch. Sorry, David. <laughs> that was a bit gross. Sorry, I liked that then. Um, 20 minute drive. I need to go and drop the cake off with my mum. You might think why we're telling you all this when it's supposed to be a surprise for David. By the time he edits this, he'll have seen it all because his birthday is in two sleeps, like I've already said. I try and get some lunch. I picked up the easiest thing in the world. I could have, should have just picked up a sandwich. I'm trying to be a bit uh, good and I saw this and I thought, let's go for some chicken and some sushi. <sighs> Wasn't the best idea. So I'm gonna quickly eat, go to my mum's and then pick up Harry. So let's get going. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> It's now six o'clock in the evening and it, look at it, it's still light outside. How amazing is that? It just really makes you feel so much better. Emily's just upstairs doing her homework and David and Harry have gone to see the cows. Yeah, we live near some cows. They're just pretty much across the road. I'm having a glass of red, even though I shouldn't be having it because I have been on the scales today and I'm just putting so much weight on guys. I don't know why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it. I exercise so much, I just don't know. I don't know if it might be my thyroid again. I need to go get it checked by the GP. I just can't seem to lose weight at all. I tried all last week, I was so good. No alcohol, no nothing. I put weight on. How is that possible? But then again, do I stop? Yeah, I was really good last week, but never mind. It's a different story. It's not a dieting vlog, is it? Well, might as well be with me, diet and exercise. I'm gonna start making tea. So like I said, showed you before, it's the chicken nacho, not nachos, tacos. So I figured out how to heat it up. So this needs to go in the oven. This needs to go in the oven and obviously serve all this separately. So excited about this. So I just picked up a um, parcel from my next door neighbors that got dropped off while David was on a call. It is from the miniature melt shop. So I got some gorgeous wax melts. A couple of these are going to be given in the giveaway. So more stuff for the giveaway. This it's one coffee? is, yeah, coffee on Main Street. That smells really nice. It does smell really nice. What's this one? Oh, I can't remember. Maybe we, I think maybe if we take the bubble wrap off. <laughs> Back in a second. So David has got the uh, wax melts. So we've got the first one. Oh my God, it looks so good you can eat it. It looks like a caramac. Oh yeah. yeah. Chunky caramac. Oh, why do they make a chunky caramac? Why do they make caramacs at all? They're disgusting. It's like a massive like. What do you reckon, Harry? It's it smells really tasty, but you can't eat it. Kind of overpowering the rest of them. Yeah, the car, the coffee one is overpowering everything, but the packaging for this place is beautiful, and the smells are great. So we got some coffee on Main Street. This one is very overpowering, but looks incredible. Um, this one is the caramel cooch. Cooch, how'd you say it? Cooch. Cooch, 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 cooch. And then we've got one, the last one we got was, this one's the Polynesian apparently, but the coffee's really overpowering, so you can't really smell it, can you? Let's open it. Let's burn it. Let's burn it. All you can smell is the coffee. What is this one again? What's it's, that one? It's the coffee on Main Street, but... Are we not opening it again? What does that smell like? Yeah. Can you, not... can you guys smell it? Oh, that smells really nice. It's probably, yeah, uh... it smells. And it looks like a milky bar. Why do, why do all these little chocolate So this company, like I said, is the miniature melt shop. 
Uh, we're not sponsored, no freebies, we bought them all ourselves. Um, so I will leave a link down below, or sorry, David will leave a link down below to that one. There you go, love. Um, but I'm gonna get the oil burners on. And don't eat them. Yeah, don't eat them. Definitely don't eat them. But they really look good enough to eat. They look incredible. So dinner was actually a great success. Even David ate it and said he'd eat it again. That is a major success. Sorry. I currently have Luigi at my feet. I'm being spied on by Luigi. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> Luigi's gone. Oh, well there's the person that operates it. <laughs> yeah, dinner was really lovely. <sighs> really full now. <coughs> Dishes time, bath time, lots to do. Um, I think that's where I'm going to call it it for today's vlog. Um, working tomorrow and then it's birthday day. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. birthday so I won't be vlogging tomorrow because obviously I'm at work for 13 hours or whatever it is. And then um, the next day is birthday. So we'll be vlogging that, won't we? Yep. yep. Busy preparing, I hope. Busy preparing? I'm at work all day. We've got secrets, haven't we? See you in the morning. Oh no, sorry. See you in two mornings. Oh.